At this point, we've seen how polynomials can be represented by their values at a set of distinct inputs, and how multiplying polynomials is easy when they're represented in this way. The problem is that we're really interested in the coefficients. Recall that the coefficients of the two polynomials can represent any two sequences that we want to convolve. To exploit the speed of multiplying in the value representation, therefore, we need an efficient way first to evaluate a polynomial at some distinct set of input points, and an efficient way to interpolate back the result to the coefficient representation. We'll focus on optimizing for a quick evaluation of the polynomials first. Our goal is to evaluate a polynomial A of order n at n distinct points. Note that I've made the order of the polynomial and the number of points the same here. We can always pad the coefficients with zeros, effectively increasing the order, and we can always add more points, so there's no loss of generality here. As you did the calculation for the exercise, you may have taken advantage of the fact that the input values were arranged in positive and negative pairs. For higher order polynomials, this advantage becomes even greater. All the even terms are the same for x and negative x, and the odd terms are just negatives of each other. With this in mind, let's define a sub e to be the polynomial whose coefficients are the even coefficients of the original polynomial a, and we'll define a o to be the polynomial whose coefficients are the odd coefficients of the original polynomial a. Then we can write a as a sub e of x squared plus x times a sub o of x squared, and we can get a of minus x just by changing this one little sign here. And essentially, we've found two values for a for the price of 1. More formally, let's say that we choose x sub i such that x sub i is equal to negative x sub i plus n over 2. Then we can compute the values of the polynomial two at a time by computing a e and a o at x i squared, and then using them in these two equations. Overall, we've changed the problem from evaluating a polynomial of order n at n points to evaluating two polynomials of order n over 2 at n over 2 points, plus doing the work of n more additions and multiplications. This is good, but at its best, we've only reduced the running time by a constant factor. We need to be able to apply this strategy recursively to change the asymptotic running time. A set of points that would allow us to do this would be very special indeed.